live and and we are live um hello everyone welcome to tonight's episode of dogs cast we are on episode 74 we're going to be taking a few moments to send out our links let people know that we are live and inform our discord um we're going to be doing our pre-show for about the next 10 minutes or so and then we're going to get started with our session at about 10. thank you for joining us and we will give some time to let people stroll into chat I got a problem. Stream what? I'm a problem. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got the funny clown music. I'm making tweets. Um. Yes, episode seventy-four. Hello. All right. I gotta inform the Discord. Lucio wrote this music. Lucio wrote this. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's not what I meant. Lucio <laughs> made this playlist. I did. I totally yeah. thought I did. Um, Discord. Um, do you want to make the tweet on Chaos Crypt? Yeah. I like how I said Lucio made this music. I sure did. Lucio composed this. All right. How are we all doing? Hope we're all uh, staying hydrated and safe during this heat wave. I'm dehydrating. What? Reminds me. What if? <laughs> what if I, <laughs> for the um, the picture for the session, I posted the picture of the four of them, and it says I will beat you to death. Oh my god, you should. <laughs> Little bit of a. Yeah, it lets people know what they're getting into for the session. I mean, if you watched the last one, you would know what's about to happen. I. I have made a fun discovery. What is share play? What? I found, I found, I found a karaoke for Wake Me Up Inside. And That's it includes true. the male part and, and like the backing <laughs> female vocals, but they sound so unimpressive. It's like, wake me up inside. <laughs> Can't wake up inside. This is very funny. Yeah. 74? Yes, episode 74. Nice. Nice. Good year. Also, oh, I, I, cha I changed my username on Twitch. Because I remembered my password. <laughs> oh, can I fuck. just say... Can, okay. Twitch, come after me. The The password system for Twitch is atrocious. It is. Does anyone... Like... I hate it. You have to put, like... Great googly moogly 1953-125 exclamation point exclamation point number four in order for it to be like, yeah, this is like an okay password. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I also have, it sucks for me because I've hit affiliate and I'm sure Jared knows what I mean, but I, because of that, I need two-factor authorization, which means I have a fucking app on my mm -hmm. phone and every time I need to change my goddamn password, I have to use that Stupid fucking app. <laughs> so true. I appreciate that it's keeping me safe, but I fucking hate it. Yeah. All right, I'm doing my retweeties. We are going to beat you to death. I love this image Me so when I goddamn much. I can get you. <laughs> Me when I <laughs> Something about this arc. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta say, I love how these four came out, Lucio. Mm -hmm. They look really good. Just <laughs> wait until you, you all see how they function. <laughs> wait. I've kept Lucio well informed. Doom. 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 We are going to beat Doom. you to death. All right, um, I can't wait for the people who show up just to see, just to beat you, beat death. Um, people in chat, um, just let us know if the audio for the, like the music and our speaking voices are okay. Um, if you can hear us, I don't know who's in chat yet, but if you can't hear us, um, suffer. No, um, let us know. 
Oh, okay. Um, if you can't hear us, maybe go take a shower and come back. Huh? But do it in three seconds. Yippee! Or it will get you. It will come for you. It will come for you. 23 days. It has risen. It's 22. It's 21 now. No. Okay. <laughs> 22. Yesterday was 23. No. No, it wasn't. 21. 21. I was 21 right. 21 days. Yes. It will come. God will punish you. Anyway. All right. You can hear us. Cool. Um, I let the Discord know. Right? I did that. This playlist goes hard. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, both Twitters, Twitter.com, Twitter. Twitter. Elton John. <laughs> That's gas. I'm working, but still listening in. Um, named has donut picks. Donut picks. By the way. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Oh, Rain is muted. Whoops. I was... <laughs> That's okay. Um... What was I gonna say? <laughs> yeah. Donut? How are you named? It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us. You know who has... It's one day. Yeah? Uh oh, it's coming. Yeah, it's a table. I've never been. I also is that um sponsored. Sponsored. <laughs> sponsored. I've never been. Um, this stream is sponsored slash not sponsored by Panda Matsu. I mean, <laughs> might as well be. <laughs> it's more like Pan streams are sponsored by you. Yeah. There is an artist named. Pan De Matsu on Twitch, who is also streaming, and Jasper has purchased quite a lot of art. Yeah. Pan is like my go to okay. artist for Calvin Cycle characters. And um, I'm going to continue to. Yeah! Yeah! We've, we've raided Pan a couple times. Mm. At least once or twice. Um, but yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, my phone is on the charger, but I just wanted to let y'all know I love you. I love you, Rocky. Okay. Yippee! Hi, Rain. You raise your hand if I'm you're sorry. yummy. I had to use, uh, the, uh, the dip. Named, give me your fucking donut pictures. I was I'm gonna sorry. inform you about the donut pics. Thank you. I'm sorry. I had to do a <laughs> thing real quick. Yippee! Those are the goddamn highlights of my life, is when Named posts baked goods. Uh -oh. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm uh oh, I should stop this. What are you doing? Um What did you do? I edited the, the HTML of my Twitch page and I deleted something, but I'm not sure what. Deleted something from the channel? No, from Twitch the website. On my end. But you're you're uh, fine. It doesn't But I don't know what I got rid of. It's fine. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, it is 10 o'clock now. Um, do we want to do our, um, introductions and then do a quick recap? Hello, everybody. My name is Jerdogscast. That's my last name. For real. My pronouns? It's they, them. And sometimes... Hello? Hey, jump it up! Anyway. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, my name is Jasper. I use he, him pronouns. Um, tonight I'm gonna be playing Callisto, a very broken man. Thank you. Maybe? Or me? Or whatever the fuck you wanna call me. And tonight, the funny bit is ASMR. I'm my pronouns are 
be that then I'm gonna be playing gently and first time. I'm gonna I'm gonna gently slide these vibes over to this guy. Sorry, I got the opposite vibe. Hello. My name is Lucio. My pronouns are he, they. And I'll be playing a bastard who yells at his parrots. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Me, Tyler. All of them. Green. Yeah. <laughs> Which green man? There are three of them there. Pick one. Three of them. <laughs> three of them. Three of them. There are three of them. <laughs> Which green one? That... <laughs> um. You big Chungus get... isn't funny anymore. <laughs> big Scrongus. <laughs> big Scrongus. That's what Big Scrongus wants you to think. Hot and Hexy. That's Jay. Holy crab! Hi! Hi, Jay! Jay's has Hello. Hello. Um, we're just about to recap our last session before we get yeah, into this, uh, this sigil game. This, uh, new one. Yeah. Crimes. I miss crime game. Alright, Rain, we, do you want to give on. us a- Huh? Do we know what happened to the DM for that? He just kind of disappeared. He did. Like, one day the server was just gone, the game was gone. I didn't even realize the server was gone. Yeah. He was initially going to help us with tech stuff for this. Remy? Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. He just disappeared. Remy, if you're out there, I miss you. Yeah, I remember that. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we've been doing a lot of uh, reminiscing about the past today, I feel. <laughs> Three of them. Three of them. Wait, we just got retweeted by Lesbian Spider. Or liked by Lesbian Spider. What? Thank God. So true. That's what killed Balder, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I can't believe Balder was killed by Lesbian Spider. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh. I'm fucking... I'm in love with you, God. All right, Rain, do you want to give us a quick recap of last week before we get into tonight's session? So, Torloth's parents are a bitch. Next question. I thought you said pants. <laughs> Dude, I want pants. Is that um, your recap? Okay. <laughs> okay we got Torloth's parents are a bitch. Torloth walked up to them, slapped them. Not really. It was like, let Moxie go home. And they were like, no. And Thorleth was like, fine. And Thorleth went up, went up, went up the, the volcano and was like, well, can you see a, can you go see a, get your ass over here? And she was like, hello, Thorleth. And, and it, was like, it was like, it was like, one, one sec. What are you doing? Oh, I had an I had a I had a message. Oh, <laughs> I had a, I had a a project message that I it was a one word answer. Sorry, um, and then it was like, well, Katie Kosia is like, I need I need answers. How do I fix this? And and she was like, hee hee hoo hoo, cryptic bullshit. And Tor was like, fuck you. And Tor went back downstairs and was like, mom's Uno reverse card. Uh, and then Tora rewrote existence, and one of the moms was like, "When will you learn? When will you learn that your actions have consequences?" And that's it. Yeah, now we're gonna beat beat each other up. Yes. Um, do we stream our faces? We do not, but we will have um, some art and some maps to show you in just a second. We usually have character art in a slideshow, but the slideshow is not working, so you will instead get a grotesque picture of <laughs> Jer's cat. Yeah, that's something to stick around for. 
fucking J Phipps. <laughs> God damn it! Why does everything safe as a J Phipps? I all my homies hate J Phipps. Um they always corrupt. Okay. Second. Um Jared's That's... uploading a couple things, but are we yeah. pretty much good to go here? Mm-hmm. All right, let's take a sip of water, take a deep breath, and uh, reel it in. Ten seconds. So, after the events of yesterday, thank you for the music change. Very cool. After the events of yesterday, you wake up still inside of Andrew's mother's hut, Miss Medea. I thought you said hot, and I was like, hot? No. What? Hot. You wake up inside of her hut. She has prepared you breakfast already. Whether you choose to consume breakfast, I'm fairly sure Scrungus will consume the breakfast. Yeah. Being that his grandmother is holding a bowl over him. Which is impressive, considering how much taller he is, even when he's sitting. But no, he's <laughs> definitely going to take a bowl. Make sure that you eat. All the rest of you, too. We will, Grandma. Thank you. Do I even have the stomach to eat? What's Torleth doing? Torleth is just kind of staring at his food. He spent a good night, um, throwing out the contents of his stomach. I don't know if he's able to eat right now. He was holding a bowl in solidarity like how Strunkus handed one to her before. Um, I know Torleth probably isn't eating, but Callisto will, like, at least come over and like, rub his back, kind of, and be comforting. And tries to, like, make his rounds to make sure that, you know, everyone else is kind of good. Rapture, Xavier, and Rasmesis all thank Medea for their food as well. So, uh, we think we can do this today? <laughs> Do we have much of a choice? I mean, not really, but... I mean, Torleth, this is your call. I don't know what I put you guys into. <laughs> Last time I checked, they are... quite the bunch to beat around, so, um... Um... Again, I will not... Be offended if you, uh, you know, step out. <laughs> Rain, hold on. What's going on? <laughs> I thought I muted. I'm so. S Wait, that's weird. I muted my mic, and it was blinking as if I had muted it. I didn't know Discord was picking up my audio. I am so sorry. I was cleaning something. You're good. I just want to know what's going on. No, genuinely, the mic was doing the thing that it does when I mute it, but it wasn't muted, apparently. I'm so sorry. It's alright. Um. Alright, sorry. Um. Uh. Talking about the fight. Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, I don't plan on sitting out of this one, if that's what you're asking. I mean... It's not fair for you to go up against how many leaders? Four of them? Like, all yeah. by yourself. Yeah, four. Of them. four. I, Hold up uh, your fingers. I'm kinda in a heat of rage. It's like, yeah, I can sure can take them all, all by one. And then I remembered that my mom can uh, do a lot. And yeah. so can the other one. And so can um, the other two. Right. We've 
bought a lot of things, so I I'm sure we can figure it out. We we always do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let me give you a fair warning. The blue one, the tough one. That my 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 first mom. She. From what I can remember can blast out water, fire, and basically ice, and scalding hot water, like water. all at the same time. Yeah, that kind of ticks most of our boxes. All at the same time? All at the same time. It's fine, we can do it. Um, the green one, my other mom, Janka, <laughs> um, uh, she can do stuff like plants. Um, she can be a plant if she wants to, like Raz, which I think is very coincidental. But, um, the other one, the pink one, that is the leader of the well, the Eterica, his name is Voltaire. He can see what you can do, and do it himself. Oh. Don't know what that means, but if you, I don't know, do a spell, he can shoot it right back at you, basically. And... The... The, the red one, uh, that's Svetlana, she's in charge of the whole entire guard. Um, can't exactly remember what she does, but she could tank a hit. Quite, quite good. She yeah. can tank a hit. Well, I mean, um, regardless of our odds or our standing, um, I think the only thing that's left for us to do is to just go in. And, um, not to sound like a teacher, but do our best. Um, and, yeah, um, do our best. I mean, they don't have divine weapons like we do. Um, we've already got a couple of awakenings under our belt and even more to come by the looks of it. So, hopefully, um, that can be our advantage over them. Maybe? Can, uh, you know, mimic the power of, um... A divine weapon, right? Right? Right, right. We know our enemy because of Toraleth. We should be smart about how we fight them. Yeah. To, you know, uh, use a little. I don't think they're gonna try to kill us. <laughs> if that is also a worry, I don't think they will. Um, I sure hope they don't. I mean, I doubt that they will. And plus, if you know anything, you almost get beat to death. I'm a doctor. Yeah. Um. Too soon. Uh, it's, a, it's a good resource to have. Um, I don't... I it shouldn't come to that. I mean, I guess my track record isn't the best. I mean, you were... And then he stops himself. <laughs> he was gonna say, well, you were helping Shay Lee, right? Oh my god. <laughs> and then he immediately stops himself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't have to jump into this right away. We've still got a little bit of time before this thing starts, correct? Yeah, I, I think they would wait until at least at the afternoon. Um, so we got a bit of time to, you know, stretch. Get, a get rid of your... And, and yeah, get rid of that stomach ache of yours. <sighs> I don't think that's going away. 
Hmm. Anxiety. Uh, Callisto, I think it's called anxiety. Hmm. No offense. Yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. He kind well, of slams let's... his head on the table. <sighs> well, until then, let's take any necessary precautions that we need to. And... Give it our all. That's all we can do. Medea is just standing over Torleth with a cup of tea. Smiling. Water. Uh, how much water? Just like a, a splash or um, enough to drown a person? Um. I mean, you could always drown in a tablespoon, but uh, that's like ex extreme situations. I need a breath of air. Callisto walks outside. <laughs> Callisto <laughs> walks outside. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a breath of air, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> She's right. Well, you absolutely can. Toraleth will take up <laughs> the Gem is whining. The tea. I made this one special for you. It should help you calm your nerves and. Maybe get a bit of your hunger back so you can be strong for the battle. Thanks. DVD in it? No. <laughs> well, no. it calms your nerves and makes you hungry. That's it's okay. cyanide. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi. It's not a really weird cyanide. God. It's peach pit tea. Cyanide. What is it, the landlady? <laughs> oh my god! Anyway. Andrew's mom fell dark. Anyway. Because <laughs> Mises never... is going to photosynthesis. Who's <laughs> doing Raz can just meditate outside? It's that picture of, of Squidward in on the like the lounge chair and in, like the all the sunbathing kit and he just puts down his glasses and puts them back up. He becomes yeah. picture plant. God. That's what a big picture plant wants you to think. I don't have control over Torleth again. What? I have control over Where Medea. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That's why no! Medea's trying to kill Torleth so Lizio can blame Medea. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I think uh, I, I can fixed play it. Medea. There we That's go. A big Medea put her in the thing. fight. Medea uh, doesn't have to her fight her mom. Fight. Yeah, she will give them cyanide. <laughs> Torla doesn't. Not the Torla. Medea doesn't want you to fight your mom, so she's gonna do the mom fight for you. Okay. Yeah. She's walking into the PTA meeting. Cyanide <laughs> in hand. <laughs> Oh, you know what, Lucio? I think you have control over all of the tokens here. Yes, you do. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Who but Toraleth, which is very funny. Alright, I fixed it. We're good. I still have control over everyone, but I'm not gonna move them anyways. Oh, yes. Uh, quick rundown. Uh, Toraleth has to fight his moms. Yeah. And um, they are going to beat you to death. Not you specifically. But us. Us specifically. Yeah. They are level 20. Mm-hmm. Deserved. So, uh... Do we have any plan going into this? Or are we just gonna, you know, wing it? I think what their plan is, is we're gonna, like, but there's, what, six of us and four of them, so we, they're either gonna make us double up on someone or go in a 1v1 some sort of way. I don't know. Um... I don't know. I'm just worried about, you know... Um, making a good impression 
I don't think that this is a good second impression with them. But maybe it will be. Third impression? They know you just because they know me. So I don't think you even could put an impression on them. Oh my god, can I even make an impression on them if your mom has future sight? Maybe she's seen everything. Maybe she knows who I am. She definitely does. Oh god. Remember, Tyridrin's future sight works how, you know, they see through a Tyridrin's eyes. That's how they see it. They can't look into anyone else's future except if they're in the future of a Tyridrin's. So, like, that brings up a lot of questions that I'm not ready to hear the answer for yet. Yeah, me neither. I don't want to <laughs> think that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I... I hit the back button, now I have to reload the whole thing. I'm, uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna walk outside now. Everyone's like, I need a breath of air. <laughs> I... <laughs> Okay, before we move on, you, you guys can talk. It. I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Lucio is going to the bathroom, and then we'll move on. I, I really like the, everyone just leaving the hut, and Jem just fucking looking at Scrungus, and I'm just like, it's just, so it's down to the two of us, Scrungus. <laughs> Rapture, Medea, Moxie, just look at each other and Tora left. I thought left the room. No, the, 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 they're all in here. No, Callisto, uh, Raz, and Xavier stepped out. I thought, I thought Tora also left the room. I'm sorry. No, Lucio left the room. I thought Scrungus was going to leave the room too. No, he's just taking a seat next to Jem while he eats more breakfast. So, uh, how's everybody feeling? I, I was fine. Now I'm not. <laughs> I am unfamiliar with the Rydran warrior culture, but this is as good an opportunity as any to learn. Yeah, I've not gotten to see them in action too frequently myself, but whenever I had I've seen Toflin a few times, it's scary. And that's you know, fought with Balder. That says a lot. At the mention that even with Balder's assistance, it was a difficult fight. Scrum just kind of lets out a sigh and just kind of stares down at his food. It will be okay. I'm kind of looking for the words to say. I know I've said it before, but you are making him proud. If that's any consolation. I hope so. I still have a long way to go before I am anything like him, but... How did Bolter say this, um... Practice make perfect 
Yeah, it does. I learn more every day and I get that much closer every day. Sometimes big steps, sometimes small, and that all right. He's kind of just poking and prodding his food with his big green pointer finger. I mean, hey, learning, it's everything. Every time that we travel together, every day we spend out growing, Don, we always learn something new. Oh, let's get right back. Oh. You will have to tell me about your time with Dad someday. <laughs> he, he. I mean, hey, he one time had a hand stuck in his chest for like a week, so. Got plenty of stories to tell you. Yeah, that's a story for another day, though. Kind of gruesome. Jem just, like, looks at Scrungus like, what? Is, is that why he had that big patch of hair on his chest? Yeah, actually. Grew that after that. Oh. Hit the scar hey. pretty well. So if Scrungus puts his hand in my chest, will I grow hair? No. No, I don't think so. Correlation between... Well, what's the hair to scar ratio here? I mean, he used to manscape real good back then, oh but then God. scars kind of... Anyway. <laughs> made it more difficult to grow hair. Have you seen him? Hair... Or wait, actually... If it's long enough... No, I don't think Jem ever met Jem Boulder. Jem has never met Boulder. <laughs> Jem thinks about oh it for God. a and then shuts up. Oh he never God. met Boulder. Holy shit. Yeah. Jem realizes this and then gets extremely awkward. She's one of the only members of the party who didn't get to meet Balder. I think the other one might have been Talonsta, maybe. No. Yeah, because Lonsta passed before Lonsta could. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. I think it might have been those really two. Because, and then everyone else went to the, to Valdor to save it. And then Vanth, right? Yeah. 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 But Vance wow. had no reason to know Balder. You think he remembers himself? No. Well, uh... I'm probably waiting whenever you guys feel like you're ready. You wanna rip off the band-aid? Guess so. I'd have to put on a couple more when I come back out here. All right. I mean, I can take care of that. That's why you brought me back. I brought you back because you deserve to be home, Moxie. And also because I'm a pretty good doctor. Right. Without a degree. Yeah. Well, Enclave, never let me in. Why's that? Um... Experimental practices that went against uh, the headmaster Rentham's uh, rules. Oh, so the same reason why Alex couldn't. Amazing. I'm leaving now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> the voice <laughs> crack. <laughs> yeah, here we go. 
The noonday sun is rising. Everyone begins slowly moving towards the arena. And you all follow suit. Everyone begins to take their places, with the six of you lining up in the middle. Four people on your side, hoping that you win, with most of the rest of the coterie on the other side. And Ramus is here. Oh my god, Ramus is here. <laughs> Gemma's definitely never met Ramus and is just staring between Ramus and 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 everyone. <laughs> I am realizing a lot of things today, apparently. Oh, Twirl across from too hard. Twirl Twirl? Yeah. How did you and Xavier have a baby already? Don't think about it too hard. Okay. Stood across from you in warrior outfits are the four leaders of Mount Morak going from left to right. Fetlana, the head guard, Coughlin, the high priestess, Janka, the looks at notes. The Mecta, the Grand Leader. And Voltaire, the Wellkeeper. And let's get that full art, baby! Yeah! yeah. Oh, they look so good. Yeah! I would like to kiss. Each of them holding different ancient weapons passed down throughout Teridran history. Svetlana with a giant hammer. Toflin with a trident. Shjanka with the shepherd's crook. And Voltaire with a little piccolo. That has a big rock on it for hitting. Shrugged shoulders. He doesn't know why it's there. Like you just said. So, Torlef, as Janka steps forward, what exactly are your terms? Well, Moxie's already back. You didn't know that. Yeah, if... I don't know why you keep bringing that up, sweetie. Don't worry about it. If I win, I do not have to become leader of this coterie when I grow up. And I can live my own life. And if you lose, what do you risk then? I don't know. Maybe a body for a body. Banish me, if you will. Doesn't that meet the same ends if you win? Yes. But also, I don't have to come back home if I don't want to. If I win, I can just let, I don't know, Moxie become Grand Leader, Alma Grand Leader, even Ares Grand Leader. It doesn't have to be me anymore. And I can just let my older siblings do the job. And if I lose, I can't even come home. Switching oh, places. Well, if you lose, you have to... Resolve yourself to become the leader.
take ownership of the role. And what, just come home already? Stay here? No, as far as I know, you need to go and complete your task. But after that, you come home. And when Tothlin is done, you become the leader. Without fighting us on everything. I fight for a reason. And that reason is because the prophecy and the cycle is bullshit. My thoughts on the prophecy and cycle aside, it is the way of life. Between you and me, I hope you're able to change it. She kind of nods and starts walking away. Orleth kind of growls to himself, you know, mutter and shakes himself off. Talk amongst yourselves before we do initiative. I need to find one little thing. I'm almost there, though. I'm gonna be completely real with all of you. I have no fucking clue why I'm doing this anymore. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I think that's why I'm here now because I have no idea what I'm doing. And whatever happens... Sorry. You don't have to be sorry. For you. No matter what. Something. If closure is what you need, or answers, or whatever it is, even if you don't know what it is, you still seek it out. And we're only here to help as much as we can. Sure. But, uh, um, family is for, right? Right. We fight together. This is not the first time. I have fought in an arena, and I intend to fight just as hard now as I did then, if not harder. I guess so. You think you're ready to do this? Torleth pulls out Sylvain, and he looks at it again. He kind of looks at the pulsing green that's at the tip. <sighs> I guess I am. Time has come. The terms are made. Are you ready, Torleth Sylvain? Ready as I'll ever be. Steps back. Then begin. Roll initiative. Yippee. Jinx! I forgot to add my plus five. That's a dirty 20. Well, um... 
I just want everybody to know that uh, Voltaire's initiative is 31. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I'm adding everybody's turn in so you can add it as you go. But uh, that's a great way to start. God damn. So uh, unless we get a nat 20... Is everybody able to put in their own initiatives? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I gotta look. Okay, Janka. Five. Uh. Yes. Who wants to bet top with that 20? Did I tell you guys about the Are wasp I found in my room? Did not one. Amazing. Good. Amazing. Raz, 17. Found a wasp in your room? It was, was it dead? My, no, it was alive yesterday morning. Oh. I woke up to a wasp in my room. Amazing. I blow up. <laughs> it was horrifying. Um, is the music too loud, stream? Genuine question. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, just uh, let us know if the music is too loud or if we're too quiet. Maybe a tad too loud? Okay. Brought it down a little bit. If it is still up, then I will fix it. Alright. Uh, wow. There is an 11 point difference between Voltaire and the next highest Chemba Beef. <laughs> so, to kick off, Voltaire steps up with the little piccolo and begins to play. It is light and airy while also chunky and chunky. rocky. Um, yeah. 40 foot radius. Oh. <laughs> um, dexterity saving throw. Uh, is that like all of us? No. No, 40 foot around yourselves. Oh. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, technically, the audience would have to make it. Wow. Everyone in chat needs to roll your dexterity saving throw right the fuck now. Pull up what the piccolo does as well. This weapon adds a plus one to the spell save DC. And even if you pass the save, you get dealt an additional damage dice. If you pass. So. Eighteen. DC is. Twenty. Oh, fuck. Well. Did anybody make it? Jemavive did. Okay. So. Let's see. This is Meteor Swarm. Oh, great. So. 20d6 fire. Huh? Wait, what? And 20d6 bludgeoning. Uh. What? What? Mm-hmm. For the fire damage, 66 points of damage. If you have resistance to it, it is halved. I gotta check. Hold on. <laughs> I should. Resmesis, that is doubled. So. Ah! Resmesis incinerated. 
Rasmussen is at five hit points. Oh my god! Oh wait, monks get evasion, right? Yeah. Can you? Are you able to? Don't take damage, motherfucker. Okay. And that was just the fire damage. I don't think I have resistance. But I mean, this is one of the biggest spells in the game, and Voltaire is out for blood. 61 points of damage otherwise. For bludgeoning. Um, Scrungus, you're not raged yet, so you're good. So, 61 bludgeoning? Yeah. That would be double on you if yes. you were... Yeah. So, um, Rasmesis is down. What is the total? 61 plus 66. So... Oh my god. I'm at 23 hit points. <laughs> what the Excuse fuck? Me, Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, in the picture, it said they're going to beat you to death. There is a moment to breathe. Uh, as Voltaire comes up, plays, and steps back, almost bowing to you. Like, your turn. And uh, Moxie is going to do her job and rush out and pull Raz out of the fight already. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Sorry, I. D <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Man, thank God evasion exists. Um, I don't have a lot of hit points even though we're level 18 because I have a 10 in con. Um. Me I when I fucking get you. Um. I, I need to, like, measure real quick, see how far away they all are from me. Okay, I can... I guess I'll reach you because you're the closest. Uh, I'll bonus action pointy hands. Um, Who are you is... going to? Blue. Top one. Sorry, it's easier for it's easier yeah, for me to no. just call them my color. Okay. Uh, <laughs> precision bonus is plus six, so I have plus eleven to hit. Actually, why did I think proficiency bonus stopped at plus five for some reason? Oh, that's no, smart. Plus six. I don't technically jump save the Sire, but it's fine. Uh, I'm just trying to debate if I want to attack with weapon or if I want to attack with pointy. Pointy is actually smarter. Um, so I will attack with pointy. Uh, I have to be 20 plus 11. 25. Yes. They don't have high AC. I can. I will give you guys that, at least. You have extra attack, so I get to attack again. Wow. That's an at one. Oh. That does not hit. No, I don't think it does. I forgot, but I'm not going to roll it, but you would have all taken an additional d10 for Mortal Wrath, the Divine Hunter ability. Oh, I have... Okay, so I'm going to do a d12 of damage because pointy hands is... It, it ups it, right? Yeah. Cool. What does empty body do again? I can turn invisible?! Uh, gem invisible arrow? And cast Astral Projection? I'm sorry, I have never played this high level of a monk. I was- I high was like, oh- monks are fucking nutty. I was like, oh, can this help me? No, but it can certainly do things. Uh, alright, um, 14 damage. 
uh, with that attack with the pointy hands, and I ran. Why am I here? I don't. Because you were doing melee, I thought. Yeah, and I wound up in front of her. Um, I was behind Xavier for some reason, so I went 40 feet. I'm gonna stop moving me! But I'm moving you up to her. But I was... No, she's I back here. I don't think my roll 20 is right. Okay. <laughs> Let me fix my roll 20. I'm like, what are you... You're not in melee range. <laughs> my roll 20 was wrong! Uh, let me read. Fucking. Fuck. Okay, then maybe I wasn't supposed to be able to hit her. And I have 65 feet of movement. Is that supposed to be more? Monks have a lot of shit. Oh, yeah, it's plus 30 feet, so. 30 plus 30 is 60, plus the 10. So I actually have 70 feet of movement, so I went. 50, so then I still have 20 feet, 5, 10, 15, 20, to fall the fuck back. So I'm gonna go back a space. There we go. That is okay. my turn. Alright. That brings us to Callisto. Jeez, okay. Um, Callisto is going to move. Um, my roll 20 doesn't like to work, but let's see. Do you want me to move, Callisto? Move. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Um, he's gonna go right there. And Voltaire is going to make a constitution saving throw as Callisto activates Son of, uh, Son of Pistol. Six. Uh, that's a fail. Um, Callisto makes his sons appear around his head, and Voltaire is going to be taking 10 D8 radiant damage. Um, I'm gonna use a roller for it. Um, D8. Please. Um, 54. Uh, actually, 52 points of radiant damage and then an extra two points of fire for a total of 54. Okay. Um, and I don't know if I want to. Mm, can I, um, activate Solar Flare as my bonus action? Uh, just engulf it in flame. I'm not gonna hit with that. Yeah, burnout. Uh, as a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah. Just take it out and light it on fire, basically. Yeah. Okay. I'm not hitting with it, but that's my turn. Okay. Next up, Atlanta. Huh? Oh, yeah. How much movement do you have? Wait, Thirty what's, feet. What's is Svetlana's dex? Uh, oh, you're tied. Um, you go. Okay. Because I'm about to say, if she can beat out a 20, I'm gonna blow up. No, it's, it's only a plus two. Yeah, okay. Um. There we go. Where the fuck am I? Okay. Alright, first Torlis is gonna move up, and as a bonus action, use Vulcan's Liar to... Um, not Vulcan, yeah, Teleport, sorry, there we go. An Inferno Dirge. As a bonus action by playing song, you can double all fire damage dealt by yourself and your allies for the next D4 rounds. Let me roll that. For the next turn. Amazing. How much is it? Uh, one turn. One turn. I meant the damage. Oh, double. 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 Uh, additionally, you become Veiled in a Defensive Inferno, increasing your AC by 2, and dealing 1d6 fire damage on any targets that make a melee attack around you for the, each attack made. Yippee. Yeah. So my AC is 18. And, um, let's see. What can I do? But, okay, hold on. Psychic Spring. Am I gonna use it? 14d6. Hold on. 14d6. I'm see holding. If I can do something more. Um. Fire damage is doubled. 
Yeah. <sighs> I want to take advantage of it. Because um... Psychic Stream is not fire, it's psychic. Yeah. Yeah. I would just see what it did. Just decide, because I just got another uh, Magical Secrets. Mm. Um. Let's see what I can do. Um. That's for three turns. I don't want to do that. Um, and that's for bludgeoning damage. Uh, um. <laughs> what do I have? That's radiant damage. Uh, it's also radiant damage. I don't have anything that isn't a cantrip that does fire damage. Amazing. Um. I mean, cantrips at this level, yeah. they deal four d ten. Yeah. Um. Especially yeah, firebolt. Not? Yeah, it's a range of one twenty, and I can do it to one person. All right. Um. I know who could be weak to fire damage. <laughs> so. Horleth is gonna hit Janka with Firebolt. Okay. So. Because she is weak to. to fire damage, is she? Yes. Okay. Um, so would that be tripled? Yes. Amazing. That. I didn't need to roll that. I want to roll this. I don't want to roll that right now. I'll roll this. Um, a 22 to hit? Yes. Amazing. Uh, 63 damage. Okay. That is already tripled. Alright. Uh, is that all for your turn? Um, I'm probably just going to move up a little bit more. There we go. But Lana is closing the gap all the way to Strongus. How much fucking movement does she have? <laughs> Holy shit! 40, so that's a dash as well. So Ooh, okay. She's gonna just stand there. Stare down Strongish. 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 And Rage. Xavier's turn. Xavier's getting the fuck away. He's like, bye. Xavier's going to go for... Fuck it. Fireball. Fireball. Um, and it should just hit Voltaire, Janka, and Toflin. Fail for Toplin. See. Uh, pass for Janka. Voltaire, what do you got? Uh, plus 10 dex saves? You pass. Fucking, how much damage does it deal? Um, 10d6. 5th level. And it should also be doubled. Yes. Sixty eight points of damage. Ooh. That is a beefy hit. Janka would just take sixty eight because she passed. There it takes half uh, And it is Strongest's turn. Okay. Uh well I'm going to rage and then go for two weapon attacks on our opponent that is standing directly in front of him. So let's see here. Uh, the first one is a 25 to hit. Yes. Wonderful. 
And the second one is also a 25 to hit. Yes. Can I roll mm -hmm. triples for funsies sake? Uh, cause you got double? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I just want to see if I get another... Oh, that was a... That was a 27. We were two off. But, you know, that's okay. That's two weapon attacks. Yeah. Uh, so that is... I will give you the damage in just a second. So those are two weapon attacks with Ferris, which deal 2d6 plus strength mod of 5. So that's two attacks. So that would be 4d6. And I can reroll because of Savage Attacker. Uh, and that is 25 points of damage total. He looks hardly bothered and is just laughing. Oh, this is going to be such a good fight. <sighs> I needed a good stretch for today. All right. Brings us to Janka's turn. Torlaf. No save for this one. Uh-oh. Is a beam of bright light comes directly towards you. Uh-oh. And you are healed for 70 points of damage. What? <laughs> a Torlith kind of gives her a, a like a, a huh? What the and fuck? Just kind of gives you like a come on. Keep going. She is rooting for you. And uh, it's Toplin's turn. Oh boy. And Toplin is going to get right in range. And activate Storm Surge. 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh boy. I actually don't think I can center on her. It's okay. Uh, we drowned. The end. Eh, good enough. We're in, we're in the shit! <laughs> is the point. I didn't realize I was muted. Gem of Eve is in hell. Oh, you oh, Callisto, will be. Callisto isn't happy either. Gem of Eve is wet. <laughs> yeah. It is an action to make the surge. Action to boil. Action for the spear. Action for drown. Well. Uh. And she's gonna just stare you down, Torleth. And pull up from the water. Similar to Calpernico, a dark sword. And I will put the art for it on screen. Me, sorry. We'll pop it up real quick, sorry. But that is the end of her turn. So. Uh, this is going to be big. Jump scare warning. Fuck! Oh. Pulls out a sword very similar to what you've seen before, because Jet has one of these, actually. Jet has Malevolent Midnight. Calpernico had Cold Star. And Toflin has a blade known as Corroded Dawn. It is Voltaire Stein, who is going to be nice and is going to heal. Let's see. Let's roll a D3. Xavier. So Xavier gets 70 points back. Wow. Uh, Gemavive, your turn. 
Uh. Okay. Um. Fuck. She's in water. She fucking hates it, but getting out of range isn't the best idea when you're a melee fighter. Also, I can multi-attack now, uh, so, um, I'm just gonna hit a whole bunch, and Jem's mindset is, please go down so the water goes away! Please go down so the water goes away! <laughs> uh, so a 23, uh, and a 29, and Jem's gonna flurry of blows to do more hits for 13 and a 24. I assume 13 doesn't hit. No. But it's still gonna be 3d12. It is a 17. Plus 5, 10, 15. For 41 damage. As she just <laughs> lays in, she is shaking like a leaf. Uh, like, a million times not okay with the situation. But it's just like... <laughs> you know how when you have a panic attack and you just are like filled with a lot of energy because you're uncomfortable with the situation going on? Yeah. Best gem right now. She's just putting the energy into attack. Alright. Yeah. Callisto. Um, Callisto is gonna get out of range, but that's because he's mostly targeting Voltaire for that big um, blast at the beginning. Yeah. Um, so he... Um, hold on. 10, 15, 20, um, he's coming to right there, and he is going to be using Solar Flare. Um, I still get the double damage from Torla for this turn, right? Uh, mm -hmm. yes, because it's not his turn yet. Okay. Um, and Solar Flare is already engulfed. Um, I don't think I get the next no, ability. No, you're on Red Giant right now. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, so he's gonna just... I only have one hit, right? Yes, I do. No, you have extra attack. I do? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Good. I'm fairly sure that Mystic's got extra attack as well. Hold on, I'm totally blanking. <laughs> I'm- just do it. I'm fairly sure. Okay. Um, he's hitting twice with Solar Flare. Um, that's probably not gonna hit on the first one. That's only a 16. That hits. It does? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna roll the second one to see if it hits. squishy. Um, 21 to hit. Yes. Okay. Um, and this is 2d8 fire damage, which is doubled, and then 1d8 slashing, I assume? It's the 2d8. Oh, it- it doesn't- Yeah, this is stage one. Huh? Stage one, so it, it's just the 2d8. It doesn't have an additional slashing? No. Okay. It takes over the fire. Okay. So... 2d8... Um... Doubled 20 points of damage on the first hit. And... 22 points of fire damage on the second. That's a total of... Um... 42? Make a dexterity saving throw. Alright. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, 13. That does not pass. Oh, I guess Mystics don't get extra attack? I thought they did. Whatever. Um, okay. Uh, starts at 2d10. But I cast it at 8. Gain 7 more. So 9d10, Callisto. 9d10? Mm-hmm. Hellish Rebuke. Okay. At 8th level. That is 45 points of damage. Callisto is not down, but he is dangerously low. Oh, boy. I'm at 14 hit points. I'll start taking hits for you, BB. I got a shield. As you I'm are... all the way across the water, Bubby. <laughs> your strike hits Voltaire. It, I think. And your strike hits Voltaire and bounces right back. At you. Are you within 15 feet of me? 
Torla. No, you're just barely out of range. Gem, you're gonna be dealing with a lot more shit than just Callisto getting hurt. Okay. Warning. Uh, huh. All right, first, uh, Torla's just gonna get out of there. Uh, he doesn't get uh, Palimpsest because of uh, you know difficult terrain, because of the water, and he has mobile, so he can get out of there. Um. Hmm. Who do I hit with this? Oh boy. Um. Voltaire. Um, <laughs> uh, cause Jean has been too nice to me, and so Lana is dealing with that, and I don't want to deal with Telephone right now. Um. Torleth looks at Sylvain again and looks at the green once more, and he gets a flash of green in his eyes for like a second, and then he shakes his head. And then he is going to use Reality Break. Alright. Wisdom saving throw. Wait. Shadow. Okay. Here's here's okay. Before the the, the the saving throw, because this doesn't even have a saving throw. It's just a saving throw to make reactions. Um You shatter the well, barriers. The reaction passed. Past, okay. Yeah. So he can take reactions, but uh, mm -hmm. other than that, you shatter the barriers between realities and timelines, thrusting a creature into turmoil and madness. The targets must succeed on a wisdom saving throw, or it can't take reaction until the spell ends. And the spell is up to a minute, so ten rounds. Damage. Hold on. The effective target must also roll a d10 at the start of each of its turns, and the number rolled determines what happens to the target as shown to the reality table. So it doesn't take damage until the start of his okay. turn. Um, you need to make the dexterity save. Wait, no, 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 Voltar took a reaction already. You're... You're good. All right. Svetlana. Let's go, Skrungus. Okay. All right. What you got? That's a natural one. However, barbarians got reckless, right? They do. Yeah. Only on first attack, though. Yep, that is 25. Misses. Ah. 15. So also both of them misses. miss. Alright, exits rage as well. Uh, turn ends and you haven't... Ha missing an attack doesn't end it. Uh, okay. okay. Alright. Uh, Xavier's turn. Xavier's just gonna fucking, uh, I don't know, magic missile. Uh, frickin' Voltaire, who's going insane. Seventh level magic missile. See when I'm going insane. He is Little. looking into the timeline and going insane. Oh boy, oh. who does that sound like? Anyways. <laughs> oh no! Uh, damn. Just under. Voltaire takes 17 <laughs> points of damage. Strongest. Uh, I guess we'll go for two more weapon attacks. Let me roll those real quick. Bada bing. Uh, that's a 27. Mm-hmm. And bada boom. Uh, that's a 21. Do those hit? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I will roll that damage right now. That is... Two... Um, double the first one. Double the first one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I also get... I mean, it doesn't matter. I technically would have got advantage on... Uh, all yeah. of those attacks. I will reroll just for funsies' sake, but they hit. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, okay. Cool. Very cool. Um, okay, I'm going to end. You want me to double the effective number of dice I'm rolling? Double, double the damage, as okay. we usually do. Okay, cool. On the first one. All right, uh, so bear with me, please. All right. Uh, uh, okay, so the first hit would have dealt 12, and then the second one would have dealt 8, so that's 20 points of damage. No. Um, no? Do you add the strength modifier to both of them? Yeah. I already have the okay. the bonus added. You do you the bonus to both of the two d six rolls? Oh yeah, no, actually my numbers are fucky then. Uh, let me. Yeah, I was gonna say that doesn't oh, sound. Oh, so right. yeah, technically that okay. Um, two d six times two plus five. Um, so that would have been thirty. My bad. Okay. Uh, in total. And uh, I goofed on the first number calculation, so just uh, toss on another five. Okay. That is an oopsie doopsie on my part. You can choose to do what you want with that second. An okay. oopsie doopsie, even. A fucky wookie. If you will. I, I just added a bunch of points to it. Fair enough. That seemed correct. Okay. I wasn't. I was only accounting for the first number for the mo for the first roll for the modifier, not the second. So, um, the reason you dealt double damage was the ability re retaliation of the dying. You can choose to double damage from an attack in order to double the damage on your next attack. Fun. Uh, Janka is gonna. Fuck somebody up. Let's see. Hmm. Is she? She doesn't have that great spells. So. Druids have both the best and not the best spells. Druids are ver versatile, and that's a dual edge yeah. blade. Um. All right. Call lightning. Um. Callisto. Oh, oh no! I'm going down this turn. Turn. It was nice knowing y'all. Yeah. Uh. Fuck it. Ninth level. Because we go hard. Oh, no! I, I, I... Uh, I think it's 9d10. Yeah. So, uh, dex save. Dex save! Or do you just not want to make it? I want to make it! Okay. Um... 14! <laughs> no. No! Yeah, that's 51 points of damage. Callisto is down. Uh, Remus is gonna come grab you and pull you out. Be, like, how do you non-lethal damage that? <laughs> by being 20th level fucking archdruid. <laughs> Have fun, kids. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> get ready for Toflin. Oh, no. Uh, strength saving throw, Gemaviv. Very good at strength saves. Uh. Are you good at strength uh, saves in the way that Pink is good at strength saves? I. I'm. Uh, no. I'm better than Pink. Uh, I'm proficient in these saves. Because you're proficient so in every save. The fact, I. Oh, yeah, because I'm a monk! <laughs> well, I love number? monks. 
So Looks I have camera. a plus five to this roll, actually, because I'm proficient. So yes. that cool. Twenty. Fuck you, lady. You got so lucky. You were one point off from being dragged underwater. You're giving my child trauma. Yeah. More trauma, more trauma. That's what this whole show is. Well, <laughs> go ahead and make an opportunity against Toflin. Yeah, how much? Did I take any damage? No. Cool. Um, no one's near me to protect them, so yeah, I'll make a fucking attack of opportunity. You tried to drown me, you whore! That's ah! not nice to say to Toralette's mom! Fuck it! Yes, it's it. fine! Okay. Uh, action search. No! What if I said no very nicely? <laughs> what if I said <laughs> no that is really nicely? Four attacks and a bonus action attack. What if I said no really nicely? Like, um, super nicely. I would say sorry. <laughs> uh, 24. 19. 17. 24. And 17. Two of How those many don't. of those hit? Two of those don't. The 17s okay. don't, because he has an AC of 18 right now. Okay. So, that is... 8 points of damage on the first, 11 points of damage on the second, and 8 points of damage on the third. Okay. So, 8, not, 11, 8. Not too bad. He's at 66 now. Oh, oh boy. Wow! <laughs> Um, as you're just, she is straight up just doing fucking flips and jabbing you with a trident while also slicing you with a longsword. It's so much fun. Thanks, mom. I brought this onto myself. I must yeah. reap what I sow. Fight my mom. Then why did you ask for it? <laughs> I don't want to reap what I sow. <laughs> then why, child, did you sow it? <laughs> okay. He who does not think about the consequences. Here comes Voltaire. No. Coming into no. melee range. No. Welcome to the water. No. He can't. Because of reality oh, yeah. break. D10. D10. You roll it. I do. Uh, three. Rending Rift. The target must make a dexterity saving throw, taking 8d12 force damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful save. Full tear down. Oh! Amazing. It was a successful save, but, uh, three hit points? Oh. Mm. Uh. I rolled the damage anyway to see what it was. You can. Uh, damage to see if you commit murder. Do you get a reaction when you get downed? No. No. Okay. Because you're down before you actually get to make the reaction, I think is how it... Or actually, wait. Wait, no, actually, he also has you, to make it would. up. Oh, before that, a wisdom saving throw. Actually, you would, because I remember watching... Because uh, the reaction procs when you're hit, not when... Not after you're hit, because mm. I remember I was watching. Actually, I don't think I'd be able to activate. Okay. Because Sorry, it wasn't directly from Torla. So. Yeah. All right. What's your damage, Torla? Uh, it was eighty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, natural twenty on the wisdom save, though. Well, then he could have taken a reaction, but he can't because he's down. Yeah. Get me turn um i'm just double checking the range or something cool there's no range on this uh 
Why is Rayma still there? I have to do a quick bit of, um... I just wanted to use this ability, because I don't I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of chances to. Uh, it's, um, Spire time. I'll put one Ooh. here. I'm gonna put one here. Fires. I'm gonna put one... Who's that? Ruben, what are you Whoa. doing? <laughs> Not oh, Ruben. Wait. Hold up. I was gonna say, why is he on the field? Because he lives here too. <laughs> no! <laughs> he lives on the field! Here. He vacations here. <laughs> I'll put one here. So it's one, two, three, four. I just wanna put one more of five, ten. I'm gonna put one here. And then Jem's gonna back up 5, 10, 15, 20. You are putting Eight, Mother in the corner. 30. Uh, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'm coming to back you up, Scrungy. Thank you. And, uh, so I've made those as my bonus action. You want to know what I'm going to do with my action? What? I'm going to make those motherfuckers explode! I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and I set it up so they'll only hit the meanies, because it's a ten foot radius. Mm. <laughs> um. So each of them must make a dexterity saving throw. 2d8? Or... Per spire? Uh, 4d8 piercing per spire. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Svetlana fails. Janka fails. Toflin fails. I think 26... Holy shit! That was almost bad! 26 da piercing damage as all of these spires appear and then Gemavive just like clench like she reaches down to the ground and as she lifts her hands up these five spires appear and then as she finishes reaching her hand up she pulls it back down and closes her fist and they all explode just yes. sending shards in into the leaders yes okay what the fuck rain Yes! <laughs> Get they asses! Um, alright. Callisto <laughs> is out. Thorloth, your turn. Callisto got squirrely eyes in the corner. <laughs> um. Yeah, why not? Um, all leaders on the board make a intelligence saving throw. Right. What's the save DC? Um, nineteen. All right, Svetlana passes. You want to roll the damage? Oh, wait, what? I didn't hear yeah. anything but Svetlana. Yeah. Svetlana passes. What about Toflin and Janka? Fail. Oh, they both fail? Amazing. Yeah. Psychic scream. <laughs> uh, Svetlana takes half anyways. Um, uh, 14d6, and Toflin and Janka are going to be stunned. Forty-nine points of psychic damage. Ooh. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Um, Svetlana's turn then. Who is going to reposition? Big number. Strongest, 28. Uh, meat. So, you're calling that. Uh, wait. It might be high. Sorry. Lone Soldier is supposed to increase it by two, because there's two of you, so 30. Okay, then yeah, 30 would meet. Well, 30 would yeah. hit, rather. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. But Lana, this is 15 bludgeoning, doubled, so and then... 30 goes up again because it is bludgeoning damage. So, 15 times... No. 17. 18 with all the bonuses, times 3. 54 points of damage on Skrungus. Okay. Xavier's turn. He's gonna start getting up close. He's gonna make Gara attacks. They don't hit. Okay, Xavier. Good job. <laughs> Xavier's doing his best. And that's all we can think. Strong guess. Uh, two more weapon attacks. Uh, that is, uh, 14 definitely isn't gonna hit, and, uh, the second one's a 25, so I know for a fact that hits. So, one of those two hit, and I'm going to use an attack from Ferris, so that is... Uh, that is... Uh, 16 points of damage. Oh, Scrungus, you need to make a dexterity saving throw against, um, fucking Bullman. Uh, no, strength. Never mind, not dex. A strength saving throw? Yeah. Uh,. Well, I have proficiency in that, so that's that's fun. Let's roll that real quick. Uh, that is a 12. Amazing. Uh, you get knocked back t 10 feet and knocked prone, but you would have just been able to get back up. So. Okay. All right. Oh, fucking where am I? You are a worm. Come on. Janka, what are the details oh. of Scund? I think you have to make a save to see if you get back up. Hmm. I don't need the actual, you know, dictionary meaning. I believe when you're stunned, you can't take any actions or movement. It's yeah. Fucked. And when it says actions or yeah. reactions, it oh, bonus uh, actions it's, it's in it's in Psychic next. Scream. A stun target can make an intelligence saving throw at the end of each of its turns. On a successful save, the stunning effects end. Because on its own, you cannot get out of stun. I don't think. So, 
Joker got a nat 20. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. I'm gonna give that to her. Yeah. Uh, and she's going to use heal on Toflin. Not even herself? No. <laughs> I do think Priorities. it's funny that there is just a spell in D&D called heal. Save and her wife. Is a... What is it? Wait, what fucking level is it? Uh, that's Six? A... Hey, I'm sorry. Cast a eight to give back 80 HP. I just subtracted. Okay. Alright, Coughlin's turn. Oh boy. Was going to second wind. Coughlin going to use. Cone of cold. Oh boy. Constitu constitution saving throw. For everyone? Uh, you too. Okay. Wait, so who's making the con save? Just Xavier and Torla. Okay. That's a four. Yeah. Uh, Xavier is much better. So 68 cold damage. I thought you said 68. Torleth is down. Okay. Xavier is not down. So Xavier, at this point, Catches to our left before he goes down to try and keep him up. Um, and as he does, something happens. Xavier accidentally Strums Vulcan's Lyre. And in that moment, Torleth is barely able to hold on, but starts to feel a change. His skin starts to bubble and boil as Xavier is looking into his eyes starts to glow orange. Torleth changes into an elemental. And Vulcan's Lyre changes into its awakened form. <laughs> and I have the art Show it. There we go. Vulcan's Liar Awakening. Torleth, get 80 hit points back. 80. Amazing. Does my... Since I, I'm the Fire Elemental now and I don't have to do it as a bonus action, do I get all the uh, bonuses from it? Yes. Amazing. Um, I'm... So when it when it's the pool, does that mean my max health, or does that mean what I have? Mm, let me take a little look. Because it's when you play the song as a bonus action, your body transforms into the that of a molten elemental. HP HP pool is doubled. Your AC increases by five, and you gain the following legendary actions. I think your full HP pool is doubled. Amazing. Torleth has 300 health. <laughs> Again. 
but you would only have the stuff that you've healed right now. They can't bring you all the way to full health. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Ten, six hundred. Think. Wow. Koroth kind of looks at himself. Is like, and then looks to Xavier. Is like, and the probably the most goopy, fucking voice ever. What happened? Mm. I gave you a hug and I strummed the lyre and by accident and now you're um. And goopy. Huh. And awesome. Wow. Um. And he also looks to Vulcan's Lyre and knows it changed. So this is what's supposed to happen. And looks to Janka. You saw it, didn't you? Janka? Not Janka, Toflin. Oh. Toflin, sorry. Yes, I saw this coming. Well, let's finish this then. Alright. And, uh, technically, an initiative, it would be Jamaviv's turn. Alright. Rain, you're muted. I for gore, um, <laughs> teleport behind you. I guess we're coming in hot! Uh, I'm gonna go hit. This is a 29 hit. Yes. I want a stunning strike that. Con save, please. Okay. No. 31. <laughs> Let's try again. The 13 doesn't hit, I assume? No. Well, then I'm on a bonus action. Uh, let's hit two more time. Motherfucker! I break an arm on this person. God. Uh, does the 18 hit? No. Oh, I fucking suck. Well, it's something. That's still gonna be 12 damage. Um, and I'm gonna hang out here. And essentially, like... <laughs> I know this won't do anything. But I'm gonna hold my arms out. Sort of like, a, You know. Come on, Scrungus! <laughs> fuck him up! Fuck him up! Scrungus just kind of nods. He's sweating a little bit. Alright. Wait, my screen is different from what's on Twitch. I think you're roll 20s. Yeah, you. I think we're roll 20s. So what, what was uh. I so, am I right? Are we flanking? Fuck, we're flanking. Can I, I need to re-roll those attacks that missed because I'd have advantage. Okay. I'm sorry. I My roll 20 was fucked up. I thought Scrungus was like spaces away. Let me try that one more time. Maybe back where he should be now or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It might have been because Jer moved me. That might be it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, does the does the 21 hit? No. Does the 22 hit? Yes. Okay, so that's one more attack, so that'll be one more stunning strike. Also, 9 damage. It's halved. Alright, it is Torlath's turn. Ask the save. 
Oh. Yes. Twenty. Hold. Sorry. <laughs> Um, but okay. Oh. Uh, Jer and Jasper has blue screened, so it's just us three for a bit. Um, um so we have to wait until they come back. This is why oh, yeah. we and Tyler stream. <laughs> um, uh, technical difficulties for a moment. Um, uh, how y'all doing? Good. Good. Next hit that goes at Scrungus, I'm gonna block with my shield. I mean, realistically speaking, you can kind of just bounce back and forth at least one or two attacks focus on each other, being that we're both shield tanks. Mm -hmm. I just want to use all my abilities. And you're within 15 feet of me, so I can I can withstanding she uh, siege on you because it's my chosen ability. So we can have my shield eat some damage. Alright, well how, how's the Tyler doing? Uh, I'm okay right now. Okay. We... Is this on the new computer? Are they using the new computer? They should be using the new computer. Starting to get back? Um, okay, well... Can they just join on their phone? I don't see why they can't, because... For the voice call, at least. Yeah. I do want you to donut post. I was gonna bring that up, name. And Windows is updating on their computer. That's amazing. Card came in. A debit card came in today. Who wants to hear me read all the numbers? Oh boy, do I! <laughs> all right. So we have um uh forty two eighty five um sixty nine sixty nine. Your debit card numbers, or is this just a really a lot? Four twenty-one. Four twenty-one. Um, on nineteen eighty-seven. Hello. Hello? <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. It's okay. The only thing we're missing out is basically just the uh, the health. I mean, not the health. The the music. Um, I still have control all over all of their tokens, so I can just move them for you. I'm back in on. Oh, you're, yeah, okay. All right. Sorry about that. This computer sucks. <laughs> Aren't you using the new one? We are not on the new one. No. Oh, okay. Uh, we have the old one at Jair's that we're, we've been using for the... Uh, uh, sorry. The old one is at my house, um, which has been fine otherwise, other than streaming. Mm. I got tangled in a cord, and it... I don't know, instead of unplugging a monitor, it restarted and updated the whole computer. Huh. Because this computer is great. Before okay. we get back that's, into it, I post a game to Donut Post in the general. That's why we did get the new one. Yeah. Alright. It's alright. Um, Everything's fine. This is why we, we stream donut here post. for now. Yeah. We didn't have Lucio, to restart sorry. stream. Oh, it was me too? Mm hmm Should be. Lana's? It, no, it's Fetlana's. Wait, Toralop isn't on the initiative for me. 
Oh, yeah, Torlef so is on the initiative for me, and it, it is your turn before Svetlana's. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, it might be because his token got taken off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my my token is still not on the initiative for me. So, uh, what was it? My turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right, 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 right. Um, what was I gonna do? There you uh, go. I have unlimited slots for some, because of Vulcan's Lyre. Uh, because Molten Elemental, I mean. And I already rolled it, um, this is for three turns, and I also rolled for the recharge on Inferno Dirge. I got an 18, so I have that back. So for a bonus action, for how many rounds? Again, one round, amazing. Um, all fire damage for myself and others are doubled and my AC is up by two so right now I have an AC of 23 as a bard that's amazing and dealing 1d6 fire damage to any targets that make it melee attacks against you for each attack made and I also have a reaction because of awakened ability amazing um what am I doing might as well use Firebolt again. Does a 13 hit Janka? Mm, no. Damn it. Well. That's all about I can do right now. All right. Which is fine. Because I now have reactions to do that. Svetlana is going for Jemmy, 24. The what? Hit. Hit? Yes. Okay. 27. Yes. Okay. Um, on that first one, I would like to use Aegis Everlasting. Okay. So... The first attack would be redirected towards me. Uh, I do gain a plus five AC bonus against the attack. Yeah, so... she cannot hit against that one. Yeah, that's um, uh, that's a thirty-three. Yeah, and whatever damage is dealt on the first attack roll, uh, return that to you. Okay. Nine points of damage. But on the second one, that is a 14 plus 18 points of damage against you, Gem. How many is that total? I'm bad at math. 18. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was you you did an addition and I, my brain started blue screening. Yeah. That's okay. Um Xavier's turn, who's fuck it, also going to Firebolt. <laughs> okay. okay. And that one. <laughs> oh my god. Trongus. Uh, two more weapon attacks on Svetlana. You have advantage. With advantage, thank you. <coughs> Gem for flanking bonus. I'm Let's okay, I just started quick. choking on nerds. Um, the first one is a 22 to hit. Uh, well, I take that back. The first one is a nat 20. Thank you for advantage. And the second one is a... Let's just roll that with advantage real quick. Uh, also a natural 20. Yeah! Uh. Okay. Um, for the first one, Svetlana is going to use the Survival at All Costs ability and nullify all damage before calculation for the first attack. The second one, you get the crit still. Okay, and I get the benefits of Brutal Crit, so let me just do some calculations on that. Real quick, please hold. We appreciate your patience. 
Uh, so that is three additional dice. So I am doing good old 6d6. So that is 6d6 plus one digits. And uh, I would double all the numbers rolled on the dice, correct? Yes. Okay, well, let me just. Uh, okay, this is stupid. The The initial totals before calculations are the exact same number. Can I roll again for technical doubles funsies? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so it would be 24 doubled. So that is 48 points of damage. Oh! There's more. I'm sorry. I haven't really had much of an opportunity to really get to use this. Uh, the benefits of the slasher feat have kicked in because I rolled a crit. So, with that in mind, duh, 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 Svetlana, uh, you have disadvantage on all attack rolls until the start of your next turn. Uh, Janka's turn now. Strongest dexterity saving throw. Okay. Is this something that I can see? Technically. So that means advantage. Yeah, the storm is still up there. Okay. Well, that is advantage if that is the case. Advantage! Ten! No. That is... 90, 10 damage. If I have it right. That is 70 points of damage, Strongus. Okay. Hold on. I think my damage calculations might be off for that last one. Off by just a smidgen. Not a significant amount. But I keep forgetting this. Because realistically speaking, this doesn't happen all that much. Because I am under 50% hit points. The benefits of walking apparatus kicks in. So that would be technically because it, it would be a d4 doubled on top of that. So um, yeah. know, let me just roll 2d4 real quick. Not that it's going to matter. I'll just add eight. Yeah, just add eight. It was a crit. Um, yeah. And 70 points of damage, you said? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, Brings us to Toflin's turn. Who is going to uh, make long swords and warhammer strikes against you? Amazing. Give me it now! 17, first one. 15, second one. 24, 23. Well, if they don't hit, they don't fucking matter. One of them hits. Okay. Because I got reactionary damage. Guess what? what? One point. Oh my god. Well, that one point goes back as three points as fire damage, and also a d6 of fire damage, because you hit me. Uh, two. So, um, five, five points of fire damage. Damn. Jam. I'm so sorry I zoned out. <laughs> it's really hot in my room. Mm. Uh, I'm also gonna keep wailing. I assume a 30 hits. I know a 17 doesn't. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, 10 damage. How hurt is they looking? About half. <laughs> so warm. It's been half this whole time, so. Like, are they just not taking any more damage, or? She's taking damage. She just is a level 20 barbarian with 24 con and tough feet. Fair. Oh. <laughs> God, the 160. I'm checking with advantage. The guy rolled a d20. Oh, good. Nope. Uh, it still doesn't hit. Um, I should have enough key to flurry of blows again, so... First hit. Yep, 24 hits. Second... 16 misses, so it's one more d12 plus 5. 12 more damage. <laughs> but half, so 6, I guess. It's not my turn. Oh? Yeah, I'm just looking at something. Alright. Um, back to Torla. Uh, just one second. I'm still in fire elemental. I'm. Hmm. I'm gonna use psychic stream again. Hooray! Because I can do that. The slots don't matter while I'm in fire elemental mode. Um. Intelligence saving throw for all the leaders again. 21 Svetlana. That passes. Fucking 15 top one. That fails. If I could click the button. 15 Janka. That fails. So everyone, so both of them are stunned except for Svetlana, and Svetlana takes half. Um. <laughs> Janka will be down. Alright, so just. What was it? 14, D6. Thirty-nine psychic damage. Alright. And do I have anything else to do as a bonus? Um That's a reaction bonus. Um Uh, fuck it, why not? Um, as a bonus action, I'll put in uh, Bardic Inspiration for everyone. Um, is that? Yeah, it goes up. The Bardic Inspiration goes right here. It doesn't, okay, it doesn't have anything to do with that. And, okay. Um, everyone gets a plus. That's cocked. I'm not taking that. 15 to anything they want. No, they roll on their turn. Yes. Oh, what? What? Yeah. The creature can add... No, you don't roll it. As a bonus action, a creature... Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can add a d20 to your fucking ability checks, attack rolls, and saving throws. Because he has that D20. Big liar. Form. Big liar. Alright. Um, Svetlana is still going. Uh, Jem, this is on you. Disadvantage. 
Ja, mm. mig. How much? What is the attack? I have to roll it, so. Oh, okay. Uh, no, those aren't gonna hit. Alright. Xavier's turn. Xavier getting his fireball. I could click the fucking button. 17! Hits top one. So 40 times. 20 points of damage on top one. And it is strongest this turn. Mm, this is a tricky one. I need to double check something before I make an action because I just want to check the specifications of something. Make sure you mark Zhonka's down too. Excuse me. So sorry. Uh... Uh, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna kind of keep on going. Two more weapon attacks. And I have advantage. Uh, because of blinking from Gummy Beeb. Advantage! 25. Yes. And... Advantage! 26. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, that is... Uh, that is 29 points of damage. Okay. She's still going. She's still going. Oh, Janka's out. Toflin, going to action surge. And create, guess what? Another one. Another one. Whopper. Again. Because she has three. God, oh my god, the cord is literally under my foot. What the fuck? Sure. Four or less. Strength saving throw. Okay, I. Okay. Because of the passive ability, I guess they would have that. Uh, nat 20. So it doesn't even fucking matter if I have plus three to that. You're good. Uh, Jam. Uh, oh, what? Hunter's Mark. With advantage. Miss. With advantage. Miss. Hitting with the offhand. I hit. Offhand would still just be a d12 plus five. Twelve. I don't think I have. I might have key points, but I'm not a. I'm not. I'm too tired to do math. Keep combat moving. I'll deal eight damage. Other than that's probably an average. I mean, I rolled twelve for the damage, so it'd be six. Sorry, I'm just overheating. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, halved and shit. All right. Well. Might as well. We'll just use Sylvain. Cause you know, might as well. Um. I can hit twice with Sylvain, can I? Yeah. Okay. What do you have? A plus one to hit. Yeah. 
Um, 26. And 22. Yes. Amazing. Um, and this has funny, funny stuff. This, uh, 1d8 plus deck slashing and 1d10 plus charisma thrusting. So I'll use thrusting. Um. Twenty-four damage. He's looking really rough. Lana, and I fired and I miss. I fired and I miss. Fire and I miss. Twenty-seven. On. Uh, gem. Eighteen points of damage again. Okay. Save your turn. Save your guy. Thank you. Um, Xavier's just gonna use Firebolt again. Where should let me do it from this menu? And that's gonna mess. Strongest. Uh, two more weapon attacks. With advantage. Rolling. Uh, with advantage. Natural 20. Rolling. Gonna roll with advantage. Uh, that was a 29 on the second one and a natural 20 on the first one. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Let me just roll these numbers real quick. So, that is... 86 in total. And we're going to add... Rolling. Savage attacker. Uh, so that would be. Just doing math real quick. That would be 78 total points of damage. Svetlana is just about down. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, one of Toflin's last turns. He's going down real soon. I got reaction angry damage. She can go down now. <laughs> Freaking, uh, dexterity saving throw. Uh, 24. Half damage. Quarter damage, because of Sylvain's passive ability. Yes. Uh, fucking lightning bolt, six damage. Is that already quartered? Yeah. <laughs> Jam. Oh, it's so oh. hot. With advantage, that's a twenty-seven. With advantage, it's a twenty-six. Bonus attack yes. with the offhand. That's a miss. So it's two D twelve. Oh, I forgot to do the reactionary damage. Um, 21 damage. Svetlana is down. Whoa. After Svetlana's Follow. down, um, reactionary damage. Um, hold on. 
Gem high five strongest. Um, so as fire damage, um, and also Sylvain damage. Uh, nine, eleven. Um, uh, fourteen fire damage on Toflin. Um, that is enough. Yes! Uh, but Lana is technically back with one hit point, but we're not gonna go into that. Kill her. Or 21 hit her. points, actually. I stab her. She is down. Legionnaire's Gambit, you come back with. I don't care. The last damage you were dead. dead. I'm not going into that! <laughs> She's done! Toflin's down! Right, I didn't, I didn't get the opportunity to say it because we were still doing damage calculations, but when Jem extends her hand for the high five strongest, who's been intently watching the last seconds of this fight that they've been tag-teaming, stabs Ferris into the ground beside him and gives a very <clears throat> high five enough that it probably knocks Jem back a little bit. So roll me a strength check. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna do a strength check? I want you to do a strength check. I want to see how far Gem goes. Okay, would this be athletics? Yeah. Okay, well, I have proficiency in that, so, um... Uh, yeah, that's an unnatural 20. Okay, 15, 20. <laughs> <laughs> he is prone. No! Gem is fucking dead. She puts up a little thumbs up. Did the whole map just move or am I crazy? Yeah, I moved. Nope. Nope. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Wait, I just noticed there are words on the dirt. There sure are. There what sure are. I'm oh, sorry, I just noticed. I got a key so bad. They've been here the whole time. What do they say? That's a secret. However, fight is over. Fetlana, who's getting back up and shaking herself off, ready for another round, is told to stop by Toflin. Uh. And Janka walks over. Forleth finally gets out of this molten lava form. And in his molten lava form, there are molten tears coming from him, just because. But once he gets out of the form, the tears stay as that molten lava. And he's just sobbing. He just knocked out both of his moms. And he never really grasped at the fact that he was fighting for them. Fighting them for legit no reason. Just because he was having a bout of... I don't know. He angst. didn't describe it as Torleth angst, Torleth rage for some reason. And he's just profusely crying and sobbing and apologizing to them. And they both just go in and embrace you. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was doing. I didn't... I didn't know why I was doing that. I don't know why I was so angry. Because you've been through so much and it just keeps coming. Why? 
Is... Is there really no rest for any of us? Will I ever see rest? Being as vague as I can? Yes. How far away? Soon. You're almost there. <laughs> and that's about what I can say. Oh, God. Uh, well, at least I feel better. And he kind of looks down at his hands. The... Over a year of burn on his hands are gone. They are completely gone. And he looks down at his chest. The burn that's on his chest is also gone. He looks like how he did before his first return home. And he feels calm for the first time in almost two years. Like he can actually rest. Even for a moment. Because he knows this is not gonna... It's not gonna stay like this. And he just cries more intensely. And he kind of also, in the hug with his moms, he also grabs for Xavier. As Xavier joins the hug. That moment stays for a bit. And then he has the compulsion to look up and into the crowd. And... As... Someone you can see through, like a ghost. Well, Canny is standing right behind Ramus. No one else can see him. See her, I mean. Except maybe her moms. His moms. I'm. My brain scattered. Yeah. And it's Volcani Koisia. And she kind of just waves at him. She doesn't say anything. And she kind of gives him a thumbs up as like, You did the right thing. This is not technically how it was supposed to go. But this is how it went, definitely. And... Torleth wipes away the tears. And smiles at her. Nodding. And before Volcani, Koisio, it drifts away slowly back into wherever the fuck she came from. It looks like she's talking to someone. But it's not to Ramus. It's Ramus can't even see her. It's not Toflin, even though she can see her. It looks like someone familiar. Like we've seen before. You see a hand, and you see her take it, and she leaves. She disappears. For now, why don't you head home? Not here. There's another place waiting for you for now. You the back of Rapture. Yeah. We'll take good care of you for now. And even without future sight, I think you'll be home some other day.
you. We love you. This isn't our last fight, though. Gotta keep you ready. <laughs> I don't think I ever want to take you guys on again. I think you almost killed me. And it was a bout of luck that I awakened Falcon's Fire. He doesn't even, like, really, like, notice. He is like, oh, Falcon's Fire turned bigger. Like, no, it kind of looks like a, like a, oh, what is it? Um, it kind of looks like a, an electric guitar, but it also looks like an electric violin, almost, um, the size. It's, I don't want to say bass, because it doesn't look like a double bass, but it also, it is in a mix of a double bass, a violin, and electric guitar. That's the best I can say it. And he's like, huh, I guess that happened. And I think this is where we will leave off. Because it's very hot. It's very hot. Hard to Holy think. Shit. I'm about to piss out all of my organs and then rehydrate with twice the water. We'll all pick right. up heading home to Lavender Fields for a very special episode. There is no arc next week. You get to relax. Maybe! All right, thank you guys so much for joining us. We will be back next week for a special, um, let's call it a role play session, um, with our friends here. Next time, same channel, same place. For now, we are going to raid Pan, um, who is playing Fall Guys, who isn't drawing right now, but he's playing Fall Guys. <laughs> Go look at some beans. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 I got beans.